because Bitcoin is not just a digital currency but also a payment system, so too it has rules that govern all of its transactions. Like the currency rules where Satoshi Nakamoto mimicked real world monies to make its properties more attractive, he also took a good look at the properties of current online financial transactions and decided to mimic what's good and replace what's bad about them, which led him to design Bitcoin in such a way that it gave its transactions the following properties. First, no one can send the same Bitcoins to multiple people, so double spending isn't allowed. Just like in the street, if you give someone your $1 bill, you cannot give the same $1 bill to someone else because you simply don't have it anymore. Next, unlike the credit card and other establishment companies facilitating online payment transactions, in Bitcoin, it's virtually impossible to reverse a transaction by anyone. Only the person who the Bitcoins were sent to can send them back. Similarly, if a transaction in Bitcoin follows all the rules about its proper structure, it virtually cannot be stopped or blocked, no matter who you are or who you're sending your Bitcoins to. Among other rules, a transaction is properly structured when it has a proof attached that the sender really owns the Bitcoins being sent. This proof, in technical speak, is a valid cryptographic digital signature a result of a mathematical function through which anyone can confirm the sender owns the bitcoins being sent. A transaction is also properly structured only when it's sent to a bitcoin address, which coincidentally is also the only piece of information you need to send someone your bitcoins. So, bitcoin transactions have the properties of no double spending, no chargebacks, and are virtually impossible to block or stop. It's almost like paying with cash in the street and completely different from the current online payment status quo. As always, please subscribe, rate and comment. Till next time, all hail science and reason.